Welcome to this week's episode of Love Subbing. And in this week's episode, I'm gonna show you how I wash and wax my Airstream trailer. So let's go ahead and begin with the most important part is the day you choose to do this. And I always choose a nice cloudy day because that Airstream metal, that aluminum is gonna get really hot. So if you're doing it in a 90 degree sun beating down, it's not gonna provide optimum performance for your washing or your waxing. So choose a nice cloudy day. Second, the soap that you use. I use Dawn dishwashing soap. And I know that there's some debate on this. Um, I posted a thing on Airstream Addicts and a couple people came back and said, hey, you can't use Dawn. This stuff strips wax. Well, the reason I use it is twofold. A, I figure if it's good enough for cute little duckies to take oil off of them, that's a good sign. But most importantly, when I was at the International Rally at Doswell last year, I attended an exterior maintenance seminar conducted by the factory service technicians. And without, somebody asked what soap they should use, and without any hesitation, they came back and said, we at the factory use Dawn dishwashing soap. So that's the primary reason why I use it. Okay, let's move on to the wax. I have always used for the last 18 years, Walburn Eyes RV Super Seal. Now, if you've got a real old Airstream, there's a different product you use, but this is for all the more modern ones. So mine's a 2002, and the Walburnizer Super Seal is what I like to use for waxing. I'm gonna show you the technique for both washing and waxing here in a second. I also like to use a nice uh, sheepskin kind of uh, mitt to do the washing with, and I dry with terry cloth towels. Um, I know you can use a chamois, um, but I just use terry cloth. I also like a Nice nozzle. It gives a nice stream. Gentle that works. stream. Stream for the airstream. <laughs> Versus the heavier, say like a full or something like that. I much prefer the stream. Bucket, soap, ladder. Let's go ahead and start washing. So obviously, like washing a car or anything, you want to make sure your sur surface is thoroughly wet. Grab your little mitt. And here's the first tip I got from the Airstream factory service reps that I've been doing it wrong for years is that I'd always do, especially with the wax or something like this. But the service rep was adamant about going with the grain of the metal. So the grain of the metal in this particular section here does this number. So that's the proper method to wash and wax. So see me wax in the same way. The end caps go that way the grain of the metal goes this way. So wash this way. So washing, good tip, washing with the grain of the metal. Yes. And then you rinse. Yep. And also when drying, go with the grain of the metal. Still doesn't feel right going side to side like this. I mean, Miyagi Sun taught us how to wax on and wax off since the 80s, and I've been doing it that way. And it still doesn't feel right, but I think there's good science to that. Um, it's important to note that I'm using 100% cotton old t shirts that are soft, and you have to make sure they're 100% cotton. You don't want any polyester or anything that's going to scratch. And my application is just a wet, wet, wet rag that I load up with the Walburnizer, put it on, wax it off. It's like a shiny new dime. And I tell you what, you can feel it without any doubt. It feels so wonderful. There are a few things in life more perfect to touch than a fully Walburnized end cap of an Airstream. <laughs> it's absolutely magical. Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead Crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed From a window in the mighty clouds up high I can touch a stream of... This always looks so nice when you see your reflection in your uh, trailer. Yes, it is. All right, that's good. 
like you got your little setup. Yep. I like your little table setup there. So this looks like a lot of work. How many times a year do you do this? <laughs> yeah, and that's why. I do it once a year. I think the factory recommends twice a year in the fall and spring, but um, I'm a once a year kind of guy. I do it every spring. I've been doing it every spring, and it seems to work for me because it's. I've started this around 10 this morning, and it's 2. And that included the washing part, right? Yes, and um, I'm probably halfway. Yep, you got the other half of the Airstream to do yet. Yep. But it's looking good. It's looking like a shiny new dime. It is. Super duper. Well, there you have it. Uh, we have now a fully washed and waxed and Airstream. And sealed as well. Yeah, if you haven't watched my video from last week, we uh, sealed our roof. Yeah. So now the last step to do is our final steps of spring maintenance. Um, if you haven't checked out our spring maintenance videos, definitely check those things out. We've still got a bunch to do before we get on the road. Yep. Um, so it took me about five hours. I started around 10, finished right around three o'clock. And it was a cloudier day than it is now. Yeah, but... it, yeah, it got sunny here all of yeah, a sudden. Yeah, it did. Um, I used about a third of a bottle, and that's for a 22-foot Airstream. Yep. And like I said at the beginning of this video, we're going to be testing Dawn Dish Soap versus Meguiar's Gold. So between now, when we're filming now, and when this video is released, which is on a Tuesday, um, I'm going to wash each end cap with a different solution. And we're going to see what happens. Time after time, probably about five different times, to see how uh, the two soaps hold up. So to start that, she's going to go ahead and get up and get the initial... Uh, control feel. This is going to be a qualitative test and our null hypothesis again is that there is no difference between the two soaps. Okay, feels smooth. Of course it does. I walbernized the crap out of the thing. Smooth, but it's very hot. <laughs> That's why you don't uh, walbernize when the sun's full. Exactly. Yes, yeah, so it's very, it's smooth like a baby's bottom. Okay, well so there it is. Walbernizing an Airstream. Yep. Okay, let's talk a little bit about our experimental outline here. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna take one of the end caps and we're gonna use Dawn dishwashing soap. Take the other end cap, we're gonna use Meguiar's. We're not gonna tell Cindy which one is which so that she can have an unbiased opinion when she goes to do the final test. We'll use Meguiar's cap as our amount of soap. We'll add the exact same amount of soap to the exact same amount of water each and every time we do this use the same glove and we'll dry it off we'll try and do it a number of times so um let's go ahead and do some science we're going to prove which soap is the best for your airstream and of course all of our experimental apparatus will be thoroughly cleaned in between applications to ensure that we don't alter the results up to and including our measurement cap proper scientific technique it's huge at Love Southern. So we've completed five applications each of our Dawn and our Meguiar's Gold soap on one of these two panels. And I don't know which one. We have kept Cindy inside. She has no idea which one of these is which. Okay. She, she performed your initial test. Yes. And now you're going to climb up on the ladder. And remember, our null hypothesis is that there is no difference between these two. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is see if they feel different than when you uh, first tested them. And then we'll move the ladder. We'll go to the other side. And we'll see how that one is and if there's a difference. And then we'll let you know whether there is a difference and which soap you should be using to wash your Airstream travel trailer. Big reveal. All right, get up on that ladder. Okay. Oh. Maybe not as smooth. We'll see. Let's we'll see if they feel different. Right, that's the big key. Right. That's my initial opinion. It's maybe not as smooth as it was. smooth as it was okay but uh, I'm not feeling any difference 
You need to go back? Yeah, I'm gonna need to go back. A very important scientific process. I really can't tell the difference. Okay, well that's okay. I, I, I really can't. There's nothing. They, they, they both feel less smooth than they originally did. Right. Because we watched it five times. Right. But you don't think that there's a difference? I, I can't tell. Okay, well the big reveal is that was the Dawn dishwashing soap and that was the McGuire Gold. Oh, okay. Well. And so what I had heard was that the Dawn dishwashing soap removes more, wax. But more of the wax? Or? Right, or it just removes wax. And as near as we can tell? I didn't feel any difference. So? If, if it does remove wax, it's equal amounts. Right. So therefore we have to accept the null hypothesis that there is no difference. So what do you use? Do you use the McGuire's or do you use the Dawn? Well, because the factory department recommended Dawn, I'm sticking with the Dawn. That's the recommendation from Love Oven. Yep, and now you're gonna have to re-wax the uh, end pieces, right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And comment below if you've uh, waxed and washed your trailer yet this year. And what you think about using Dawn versus other soaps. Exactly. We come out with Airstream and RV related content every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.